Hi, we have Whoa. a great project video for you here today, and I'm sure these guys will agree. Mm -hmm. So stick around to the very end. Let's go. Get to Enjoy work. the show. The very end. Subscribe if you haven't. Click that bell. Click that thumbs up. And enjoy the show. This isn't the project. <laughs> Let's go. I don't have all day. So I acquired these 100 plus year old pieces of cypress wood from down in Florida and they are pretty interesting. I'm cleaning them up a little bit and I'm going to cast some resin over them and you don't need to stabilize it although I'm sure that would help because uh, they are a little bit punky. And if you're interested in purchasing some of these, I'll put the link in the description below. Speaking of links, I'd like to give a shout out to Brom and Roger. Great guys, great wood turners. Give them a visit and subscribe to their channels. Links are in the description below. I went with a Perlex Silver and an Alumilite Dye Blue with some Alumilite Dye White. I thought this would be a nice color combo because the wood is most likely going to be a brown. Unlike my last project video where you saw the Choya cactus and that was a lighter color. Twenty four hours later and out of the pressure pot looks great. I have a nice blank for making a screwdriver handle. And one of the most important steps of making a screwdriver like this is having the handle aligned properly and centered. Once I establish the diameter of the tip of the screwdriver, the rest of the handle is pretty easy. I can basically do whatever I want. I want maybe a thumb grip, it to be comfortable, and it to be a good length. So every so often I'll stop it and see how it feels in my hand. And at this point I get to see how that wood is revealing itself and whether or not I want to keep turning down if I want the wood to wrap uh, more around the handle and less resin. So it looks pretty good and I added some plastic polish to try and buff it up and give it a lot more shine. But I said to myself, <laughs> I think we can do better. We can get it a little bit more shinier. So I took it off the lathe, finished up adding the parts with some epoxy and you want to make sure that you don't glue the ratcheting mechanism down. And once again, after 24 hours, I cleaned up the end of the handle and started the buffing.
And that's much better. Again, this project came out really good. I'm really happy with the screwdriver. Cool screwdrivers are great sellers for me. I, I sell quite a few of them. And turning this 100 year old plus wood, cypress wood, was really neat. Um, it's a little on the dry side, but uh, it turned really easy. So I hope you stuck around to the end. You enjoyed the show. And as always, stay safe in your shop at all times. You too. Thank you and take care.